Father Magnus J. Wenninger OSB is a mathematician who works on constructing polyhedron models and wrote the first book on their construction. Early Life and Education Born to German immigrants in Park Falls, Wisconsin, Joseph Wenninger always knew he was going to be a priest. From an early age, it was understood that his brother Heinier would take after their father and become a baker, and that Joe, as he was then known, would go into the priesthood. When Weninger was 13, after graduating from the parochial school in Park Falls, Wisconsin, his parents saw an advertisement in the German newspaper Der Wanderer that would help to shape the rest of his life. The ad was for a preparatory school in Collegeville, Minnesota, associated with the Benedictine Street, Johns University. While admitting to feeling homesick at first, when Inga quickly made friends and, after a year, knew that this was where he needed to be. He was a student in a section of the prep school that functioned as a minor seminary, later moving on into Street, Johns where he studied philosophy and theology, which led into the priesthood. Career. When F.R. When Inga became a Benedictine monk, he took on his monastic name Magnus, meaning great. At the start of his career, when Inga did not set out on a path one might expect would lead to his becoming the great polyhedronist that he is known as today. Rather, a few chance happenings and seemingly minor decisions shaped a course for when Inga that led to his groundbreaking studies. Shortly after becoming a priest, when Inga's abbot informed him that their order was starting up a school in the Bahamas, it was decided that when Inga would be assigned to teach at that school. In order to do this, it was necessary that he get a master's degree. When Inga was sent to the University of Ottawa, in Canada, to study educational psychology, there he studied symbolic logic under Thomas Greenwood of the philosophy department. His thesis title was The Concept of Number According to Roger Bacon and Albert the Great. After completing his degree, Weninga went to the school in the Bahamas, where he was asked by the headmaster to choose between teaching English or math. Weninga chose math, since it seemed to be more in line with the topic of his MA thesis. However, not having taken many math courses in college, when Inga admits to being able to teach by staying a few pages ahead of the students, he taught algebra, Euclidean geometry, trigonometry and analytic geometry. After 10 years of teaching, when Inga felt he was becoming a bit stale, it was here that his interest in the new math was formed and his studies of the polyhedra began. Publications when Inga's first publication on the topic of polyhedra was the booklet entitled Polyhedron Models for the Classroom, which he wrote in 1966. He wrote to H. S. M. Coxeter and received a copy of Uniform Polyhedra which had a complete list of all 75 uniform polyhedra. After this, he spent a great deal of time building various polyhedra. He made 65 of them and had them on display in his classroom. At this point, when Inga decided to contact a publisher to see if there was any interest in a book, he had the models photographed and wrote the accompanying text, which he sent to Cambridge University Press in London. The publishers indicated an interest in the book only if when Inga built all 75 of the uniform polyhedra. When Inga did complete the models, with the help of R. Buckley of Oxford University who had done the calculations for the snub forms by computer. This allowed Wen Inga to build these difficult polyhedra with the exact measurements for lengths of the edges and shapes of the faces. This was the first time that all of the uniform polyhedra had been made as paper models. This project took Wen Inga nearly 10 years, and the book Polyhedron Models was published by the Cambridge University Press in 1971, largely due to the exceptional photographs taken locally in Nassau. From 1971 onward, when Inga focused his attention on the projection of the uniform polyhedra onto the surface of their circumscribing spheres, this led to the publication of his second book, Spherical Models, in 1979, showing how regular, or semi-regular, polyhedron can be used to build geodesic domes. 
He also exchanged ideas with other mathematicians, Hugo Verayan and Gilbert Florent. In 1981, when Inger left the Bahamas and returned to St. John's Abbey, his third book, Dual Models, appeared in 1983. The book is a sequel to Polyhedron Models, since it includes instructions on how to make paper models of the jewels of all 75 uniform polyhedra. Issue 02. Bankoff, Thomas, Father Magnus and his Polyhedrons. Lab Issue 02, June 2008. Friedman, Nat. Magnus Weninger. Mathematical Models, Hyperseeing. Publications. Weninger, Magnus, Polyhedron Models, Cambridge University Press, ISBN 9780521098595, Mr. 0467493, Weninger, Magnus, Spherical Models, Cambridge University Press, ISBN 9780521294324, Mr. 552023 reprinted by Dover 1999 ISBN 9780486409214 Weninger Magnus Dual Models Cambridge University Press ISBN 9780521543255 Mr. 730208 Complete publications 1963-69 Stellated Rhombic Dodecahedron Puzzle The Mathematics Teacher The World of Polyhedrons The Mathematics Teacher Some Facts About Uniform Polyhedrons Summation Association of Teachers of Mathematics of New York City 11-6 33-35 Fancy Shapes from Geometric Figures Grade Teacher 84 to 461 to 63, 129 to 130, 1970 to 79 Polyhedron Models for the Classroom National Council of Teachers of Mathematics, 1966, Second Edition, 1975, Spanish Language Edition, Erlschen, Spain, 1975, Some Interesting Octahedral Compounds The Mathematics Gazette a new look for the old platonic solid summation. Journal of the Association of Teachers of Mathematics. Polyhedron Models Cambridge University Press, London and New York, 1971. Paperback edition, 1974. Reprinted 1975, 1976, 1978, 1979, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1987, 1989, 1990. Russian language edition. Mir, Moscow, 1974. Japanese language edition. Danippon, Tokyo, 1979. The Story of Polyhedron Models, American Benedictine Review, News from the World of Polyhedrons, Summation 20-2-3-5, A Compound of Five Dodecahedra of the Mathematical Gazette, Lux, Geodesic Domes by Euclidean Construction, The Mathematics Teacher, Spherical Models Cambridge University Press, London and New York, Paperback Edition, 1979. Fuller Figure, Mathematics Teacher 72164, 1980-89 Avenues for Polyhedronal Research Structural Topology, No. 5, Dual Models Cambridge University Press, London and New York, 1983. Polyhedron Posters Palo Alto, Dale Seymour Publications, 1983, Senecal, and G. Fleck, Eds. The Great Stellated Dodecahedron, Part 2, Section C, Shaping Space, Boston, Berkhauser, 1988, Messer, P.J.T., Author, Symmetry and Polyhedronal Stellation, 2, Computers and Mathematics with Applications 17 to 1 minus 3, 1990-99 Polyhedrons and the Golden Number Symmetry 1 to 1, Artistic Tessellation Patterns on the Spherical Surface International Journal of Space Structures 5 to 3 minus 4, 
Tane T J T author spherical circle coverings and geodesic domes structural topology no 16 Messer P J T author patterns on the spherical surface International Journal of Space Structures 11 to 1 and 2 spherical models Dover publications New York Republication of the work published by Cambridge University Press, Cambridge, England, 1979. New Appendix. Paperbound. 2000 Symmetrical Patterns on a Sphere. Essay No. 5 in Part 1 of a two-part work, Symmetry 2000, containing 52 essays. Edited by Istvan Tahajitai and Torvud C. Loron, Wenigren International Series, Volume 80, London, Portland Press, pp. 41-51. Memoirs of a Polyhedronist, Symmetry, Culture and Science, 11-1-47-15. The Quarterly of the International Society for the Interdisciplinary Study of Symmetry.